The market continues its pullback but bounces at the close. Are the Bears done? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the fact that we should be looking for continuation on the pullback, and that's exactly what we saw. The market pulled back just below 4,100 before bouncing after that into the close. Now the question is, are the bears done? I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, as always, we're doing good things, teaching people how to trade in our room, teaching them what to look for, and seeing great results from our traders. If you'd like to join a community where people actually care about your outcome, check out later in the video. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500, and you see we got the continuation of the pullback down here toward 4099, and then they started to bounce a little bit into the close. Now, this straight down structure does have a little bit of a bounce here, and that did hit about the 1.0 here, so it would be considered like the A wave of A. So you got this bigger A wave, and that breaks down into an ABC as well. So we would count this as a minor A, and then look for a bounce up toward the 4135 to 44 area in B of A, and then we'd look for continuation to the downside toward the 4050 to 4060 area on the ES, which is the futures chart for the S&P 500. So remember, everything is uh, breaks down into smaller versions of itself, and that's what we would look for here. So that is our primary path where we're looking for an A, B, C, and uh, the bounce would look for the 4130 to 40 area. Now, our secondary path would be that we have bottomed here, and we're trying to make a move back up for one more high, where this would be wave four down, okay? And then you'd have like a one, two, three, four, five move up toward the 40 to 26 area i think this is less likely given the overall pattern given that this move down okay doesn't look complete the bounce off of the low here does not look impulsive the macd's are rolled over so it doesn't look like we have a lot of upward momentum right now so i don't think they're going to complete this pattern but it is possible so we do have to chart it and make sure we understand what the pattern would look like so that would be what we'd look for as an alternate path there is a chance that they don't bounce at all, and they give us kind of a straight down move. That does happen after diagonals, and you remember it was possible that this could be the end of a diagonal up here, and we would pull back. I think that's less likely overall because of the height of this wave. But in that case, we could see a continued kind of straight down move into this 40, 50 area before we see any kind of bounce at all, as diagonals do tend to sell off in a more straight down manner. So it's kind of straightforward right now. The uh, bears are looking to hold it under the 4150 area overall, but they prefer the 4145 area. The bulls are looking to take out the prior high to give us one more high to complete a five up. And then we do also have that potential for a direct sell off over on the NASDAQ. Okay, the NASDAQ's following our plan pretty well. Also, we got the straight pullback in the first leg of our A leg. So we would look for this to be A of A, look for a little bit of a bounce up here toward the 13177, 13217 area in wave B, and then look for C down toward that uh, 12,750 area to complete the A leg. Then you'd look for a bigger B leg, and then C down into our support zone, which is the 12,562 down to the 12,164 area. So this would be our uh, primary count for the NASDAQ, looking for this wave two setup. And then from there, we'd look for a one, two setup to the upside to start the next move higher. However, just like on the NASDAQ, they have not invalidated a chance at moving up. Below 12,991 would be that invalidation, but above that, they can still take this higher and make one more high up here where this would be a four down and this circle five would move up to the next high in that regard. So it is possible that they need um, one more high, but again, based on the things I said about the ES, the uh, MACDs rolled over, the lack of impulsive move off of the low, and the fact that they did bring it down to a 50% here is a very, makes it, um, a little less likely that that's going to happen. Our primary count is what we're looking for, and they could follow suit. We could see more of a direct move lower, but um, typically you'd see this ABC type setup. So that's what we're looking for. It's pretty straightforward today. Not a whole lot of paths as we've eliminated some of them with this move down which does make things a little bit better. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website. Once you're there, 
check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans, and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there and make sure you love it and become part of the trading team before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. We do have new training material, our Elliott Wave for Beginners course, and it goes over how I teach Elliott Wave, how I find the targets that we get, and uh, basic Elliott Wave principles so that you can learn to chart the way I do. Those come That does come with both s- subscriptions. And in our first room, we have our Invest with Jacob room. And in there, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, a midday video where I go over exactly where we are in the counts and what to expect, as well as the training material you just saw. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing trade which means our trades can last anywhere from a few days to a few months. So we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are looking for day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trade that's so unique. It's something you kind of have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account, trading mini ES futures, averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we would love to have you in these rooms so we can all make money together. All right, key takeaways for today. We are looking for continuation, but we may see a small bounce first up to the 4135, 45 area on the ES on the futures chart. Then we look for that C wave down into the 4050 to 60 area. They can take it higher. However, I don't think that's going to be the case. But if they do, we would look for them to move up toward the 4226 area directly and a higher wave five. Over on the NASDAQ, same type of setup. We got a pullback here with a little bit of a bounce going on. Could get that move up to the 13177, 217 area before moving down further. And they do have the ability to take it higher, but I do not think that is going to be the case. Guys, it's a long weekend. It is Easter. Have fun with your family. Have a great Easter. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you next week.